Hi, how are you? I am trying to record this as quick as I can because my computer keeps going into hibernating mode. But it's telling me it's getting too hot, so let's get this going. Welcome to Yarn Bingo, uh, the video. So that you um, have an explanation of the squares that I chose. And most, I think all these squares I actually created. I am more than willing to, sorry, I got my glasses on and get black glare from it. I'm trying not to overshadow with this light back here, so I have this light a little stronger. So everything shines off my glasses. I apologize for that, but I really can't see once I try to look at stuff. I just can't see things. Um, <clears throat> all the squares I, I actually picked myself this year, this, this month, it was a little hard. So I'm always open to suggestions for squares. I try to accommodate everybody that is actually playing yarn bingo with us. We have friends that are in New Zealand and Australia, and we have friends in the Netherlands and the um, United Kingdom. We have friends in Canada. We have friends. I don't think I said that right. In Canada, and we have friends in United in United States. I would love to hear from you as to where you are. Please, please. Uh, Put a message on the on the video. Let me know where you're from. Um, I try to accommodate different areas. I try to accommodate holidays that are going on, and I think they're you know I'm, I'm trying to be as um, accommodating to everybody in their areas. If you find a square and it doesn't meet your area, but you can tweak it a little bit, like if I say do something for fall and you're going into spring, then go ahead and change it up. Um, and I'm totally fine with that because sometimes when I'm doing this square, I might be doing five other things at the same time and may forget to actually put in, um, you know, the opposite of what I'm doing. So if you have something that you think can actually take place of a square that is, you know, just maybe the opposite of, like if I say water and you're desert, if I say fall and you're spring, if I say winter and you're summer. I'm fine if you change it up. Just give me some indications so that it reminds me when I do my next square, my next uh, yarn bingo, to come back and make sure I check for those things. So here I go. Let's go. First row. Check your Christmas list. How are you doing? We've been working on some Christmas presents since I think June is when I started or July is when I started with Christmas presents. Um, if you have multiple people in your family, it takes a while. So that's why I started so early. Sorry about the glare. There's nothing I can do about it. Finish a whip. September 15th is National Hat Day. So create a hat. Uh, make a bookmark. Create something with a leaf pattern or the word leaf in the name of the pattern. So um, there's a bunch of stuff, different things out there. Like there's a fallen leaf. Um, there's things that have leaves in them because, you know, seasons are changing. If it has a leaf, uh, if it is a leaf pattern, or has the word leaf in the pattern name, it's acceptable. Second row, September 24th is Save the Koala Day. To create something with a koala. It's supposed to be bear. It says bar. Sorry, I missed it. Um, but I do have a koala picture of a koala bear there. So create something for a child. September has the full harvest moon. So create something with harvesting. Use your imagination for inspiration. Um, you think it works? I'm good with it. Finish a whip. Create a sunglass holder because we're going to be putting our sunglasses away. Finish a whip. Save your yarn wrappers from your projects. And I'm on the third row. It's finish a whip. Then save your yarn wrappers from projects. And let's see how much yarn you went through in the month of September. Parentheses year. Free space. Clean up your stash. We've got to start making room for December's presents to come in. Create a pair of fingerless gloves. Down on the fourth line. Blanket in progress. Make something with a car theme. And there's a reason why I chose that theme, but I can't remember why. Somewhere, somebody has something with a car in it. All right, create an applique. Work on a project that will take a year to make. Finish a whip. Last row. Create a pair of slippers or socks. September is National Sewing Month, so sew or stitch something together. To me, that is you could actually physically sew something because a yarn um, thread is a yarn type product or if you turn around and create I'm a grooming and you got to stitch it together 
you do a granny square blanket, you got to stitch it together. Any type of stitching to create an actual finished project works. Finish the work. Excuse me, finish the whip. Learn a new pattern or stitch. Create something with three of the following colors. Um, I was trying to think of fall and also spring. So you can go pastels or you can go with uh, bright colors. It's up to you. Create something with three of the following colors. The colors are red, orange, brown, yellow, or green. Just anything with any three of those colors in it. It works. So that's it. Hope to see you in October. Have a good September. Have fun and let's do it again. Bye.